Matters. Well, Wits University students and members of a private security company have allegedly come to blows. The security company had been brought in to help disperse the protesting students from the university senate house. Students are demanding a free tertiary education and the scrapping of registration fees. For more from the university, our reporter Machetla uh, Mukhlabi is there. Machetla, good afternoon to you. So you've been there uh, since this morning monitoring what's been going on and we've had reports of serious tensions uh, between the students and uh, security. Give us an update though on what's happening with the registration process today. A very good afternoon, uh, Natasha. Well, I can tell you that our uh, line is cut, but what I understand uh, from your question is that what is the situation with regard to registration so far? Well, I can tell you that today there is no walk-in registration, only online as well as a telephone registration going on. So, but as far as the protest is concerned, as you can see behind us uh, is the workers, the outsourced workers, as well as the students uh, joining hands together uh, to push this particular protest. Uh, but to, for now, let me just speak to uh, my guests here. I'm with Vuyane Bambo. He's one of the Fees Must Fall uh, members. Uh, Vuyane, thanks so much for your time indeed. I mean, we saw the security tight here. And I saw you were very, very agitated uh, with students being barred from moving around uh, the campus here. Yes, very well. These, um, in the morning when we woke up, uh, we were raided by uh, bouncers of Adam Habib, who came and beat us up, beat women up, undressed women, fondled their breasts. Now, we are in a situation where there's like a state of emergency of some sort. I, I ne I've never lived through apartheid, but I can now have a sense of what apartheid looked like. Our call is very simple. We are calling for free college education now. Last year it has not stopped. We are continuing with fees must fall. The only difference is that we are saying now we can no longer wait. So talking about uh, not being able to wait, I mean, uh, the university has made it clear that there are students who are coming from afar, as far as Limpopo province, to just come here, more especially yesterday, to do their first registration with the university. Of course, the protest prevented them, uh, more especially with the parents of being frustrated by that. Uh, what's your take on that? Are you still going to continue with the protest, even if there are students who want to go on with the registration? Sure. It's not true, my brothers. Most of the students that came yesterday, some of them are struggling with their fees. And we are they come to us to tell them to tell us that they are struggling with fifty thousand. Now where do we get fifty thousand? They have nefs us but they don't, they owe fifty thousand from last year. So it's a it's it's, it's a no go situation. So even if you have nefs us this year, you can't register this year, then it means that you can't do anything. You are as, as good as someone does not have money. But this is not about the students who are on campus. It's also for the students who are outside campus. Now for the students who are coming from far, that's why some of us did not have holidays. We were on campus Campus, we made sure that these residences that you see on campus are opened for students who are coming from far to come uh, find accommodation. So this is what we've done as a measure for those students who have traveled from far. There is spaces. We open residences for those students to be able to have a place to sleep. University did not make that measure. They were not prepared to open residences. We opened those, those residences and students right now have a place to stay. We organize food. We force the university to give breakfast in the morning. They give breakfast but suddenly they throw bouncers at us. They beat us up, they fondle women, they, 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 they strip one of, the, of our comrades naked, which was, was a woman. And I think this is a clear indicator of the kind of university we're living in, the kind of, uh, of, of country we're living in. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, sort of surprised that much. I just didn't think that Adam Habib and his cronies would go as far as this. We're led by dragons. We're led by dragons in the state. Lindsay Monday is suddenly saying that he wants to meet with SRC uh, uh, delegates. Now, it's very clear. Our call is free education now. They had a meeting last year with SRC who sold us out in a 0% uh, call. We don't want 0%. We want free quality education now. The difference is say, is we're saying now is that we want it now, not tomorrow, not next year. We're not waiting for a commission. We know that they have that money. They're busy talking about trillion dollar, uh, trillion rand uh, plantations. We want free education. Those engineers that they need in that, uh, in, in, in that plant of theirs that they're building, 
it needs engineers. It needs all sorts of skills that in this country we're struggling with. So where, do, where are they going to get them? They're going to end up going overseas, leaving the majority of black kids in the squalor, in, 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 the, in the squatter camps. So we're tired of that. We want free education now. We know that our cause is noble. We know that uh, what we're doing is for the betterment of the black child. And that's why we're not turning back. No matter what they throw at us, we're marching forward. Free education, we're going to realize it today. We're going to realize it now. Just briefly, very, very briefly, is it going to be, or are you demanding free edu education for all or for the poor? We are demanding free education for now. The question about the poor, the rich, we want a free education now. We are decolonizing education. We are moving it away from the hands of the capitalists. That's the starting point. Everything else we'll discuss afterwards. What we want now is free education. Education cannot be for the few. Education cannot be for the elite. Right? But right now, we're calling for free education now, because now it's going to get us into a conversation around who must pay, who must not pay. Let them declare free education the same way they declared they're going to spend trillions of rents on, 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 on plants. The same way they declared that they're going to go buy a air pass for, for someone. We want free education, we want it now. We can no longer wait. We've been waiting for far too long. Our brothers and sisters show us, showed us the way in 1976. We are taking on the baton. We're doing it in 2015, 2016, and we're marching forward. Brianna, thanks so much for, for your time indeed. Of course, another student uh, who is part of this Feast Must Fall is Sarah uh, Mukweb. Thanks so much for your time. Just briefly, why is this movement led by the students but, but not uh, SRC? Um, if we could remember correctly, um, last year when we had the Fees Must Fall, when it started on the 14th of October, it was both the SRC and students that didn't hold any positions whatsoever in the university. However, when we now went to um, union buildings, when the president announced 0%, we saw um, deterioration, if I should put it that way, and we saw the SRC urging students to go back to class, whereas as with students we were saying that we were even going to call for insourcing because we had told workers to stop working while we shut it down the university and they supported us when we were shutting down for scraping away of um, supplementary fees, for example, with FITS. So the SRC decided to distance themselves last year when we were going forward with um, insourcing of the university. Hence, it was quite tough, kind of difficult for them now to return this year for the Fees Must Fall movement. So how do you feel about that? Is there some kind of division going on here? It isn't necessarily a division. However, there are... I don't know how I, I I don't know what to call it. It's it's not like a division of SRC this and fees must fall that because this morning I'm not sure if you might have been aware we saw a few SRC members who came through although they were not at Solomon Mashangwa House when uh, students got uh, evicted violently by private police but they did come show face earlier on so it's not really a division. However, things are not as settled as they were at the beginning of the fees must fall last year. So finally, do you have confidence in the? fee structure or the upfront payment or payment structure uh, put in place by the university? No, we don't have confidence in it because it continues to, to thingy, to exclude students because what they're trying to do is that to start with they continue putting people in more debt and secondly they're only um, accommodating a few and we still have people that actually can't afford it and they're not with NSFAS or they're not with bursaries. So the system that they currently have in place is not working for everyone and we want a solution that's going to work for all students in the university because some can't, it, 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 it can't happen that some go in and some can't. Sarah, thanks so much for your time indeed. That was Sarah Mukwebo and indeed as you can see the protest is underway. Workers, outsourced workers, of course, as I can see, some of the students have actually moved away, but I understand they will be joining the outsourced workers as the protest is taking its other shape as we're speaking right now. Back to you in the studio.